I'm so excited to be doing this. Right now, I'm going to be doing my big sister's hair for the first time. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put her hair in a high ponytail with buff hair, like you see my right now. I don't know if you call it buff hair, but that's what I'm doing. Anywho, I'm going to be recording of my steps and tips of what you should do if you have hair like us. Right? Let's get started. Usually what I do when I do my hair, because usually my sister does my hair, but since I'm doing hers for the first time, I want to make sure it's going to be perfect. So usually I'll just brush my sister's hair and like make it look all smooth and stuff. It's really hard to brush her hair sometimes because I have to make sure it's not tangled. And since her hair is like very curly, um, just like mine's, but hers way more curlier, it's kind of like hard to brush it. See, I'm already having trouble. Ugh. Sorry, I almost hit the camera. So, yeah. I'm really sorry for my sister. I know she knows this hurt because it does pretty bad. But, yeah. Just brush her hair. So, after, like, I brush and stuff, I put some grease in her hair. It's perfect. She just sat in there like she looks miserable. But yeah, I just put grease in her hair. That's why I usually do some mines like literally all the time. And it works like so well. Since her hair is like almost a little bit fragile to mines, I have to make sure I'm doing it really soft because she has really sensitive hair. Like, it's so sensitive, it's really, see, you can see it coming out. I don't know if you can see it. And by the way, one of my people is recording, so if you wonder if I was recording, I'm not recording. So, yeah. And then I will literally just grab the brush again. What I do now is I get the comb and I start combing her hair. This is what I do to my hair all the time, but it's much easier to do with like me instead of doing somebody else's hair. I always like to get the back, always, because always the beady beads are in the back. My sister knows that too. And I know this is getting smoother, so I guess that's the like group A. And it's stuck. <laughs> okay, now it's time to put like the rubber band. Usually I'll tie it like at least, oh, I don't know, like um, twice just to put it in her hair. And it'll be perfect and it'll be awesome. So, yeah. Okay, guys, here's the final touch. <laughs> I think it looks so pretty. I did a pretty good job, guys. Yes. And for me doing her hair for the first time, it's like crazy. What do you think? It could be better. She always say that because I know I did a great job. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, that's her hair. And I'm really excited I did this. And it was perfect. And she looks great. And... She does her own hair because she goes out running like every day in the morning and she literally just got back and I just shot this video. Um, so yeah, I think it looked perfect on you. I like the back. I think I did a great job with the back. You like recording, Ricardo? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> but I think I did pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And since we're like new to New York, 
we're gonna go shopping so we're gonna probably do a video of shopping if not we're gonna show you the clothes and try them on and it's gonna be perfection trust me but anyway that's her hair and i think it turned out pretty good pretty good pretty good and i think nobody could do better but if they can good for you uh but yeah and just so you know i did my own hair and it comes out perfect yeah anywho yeah so guys if you guys want some more tips on doing hair or anything just comment down below and we will probably do the video on it and i'm gonna keep doing the things all right yeah whatever so yeah get the camera get the camera get the camera get the camera Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! We really don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe to the ND Production YouTube channel right now.